In 1898, Rudolf Diesel was granted a U.S. patent for his invention of the diesel engine. But did you know his intent was for his engine to run off biodiesel? He even marketed his invention to American farmers as a way for them to grow their own fuel. The process of making biodiesel is so easy, you can make it using inexpensive materials you can buy at the grocery store. The three ingredients you'll need are methanol, sodium hydroxide, and any type of vegetable oil. I use a glass container, add one cup of methanol, then add one half teaspoon of lye. Use an airtight lid and swirl or stir until the lye is completely dissolved. Next, use four cups of vegetable oil. Heat the oil to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Use the funnel to pour the heated oil into a two liter plastic bottle, then add the lye mixture. Tightly close the lid and shake vigorously for about 20 seconds. After a while, a dark layer of glycerin forms beneath a lighter layer of biodiesel fuel. Over the next couple of days, the biodiesel becomes clearer as all the glycerin settles. Biodiesel fuel will work in any modern diesel engine without any modification. It has substantially reduced carbon emissions and will better lubricate and extend the life of engines over petrol-based diesel fuel. Biodiesel can be made just as easily from used oil and with over 30 million gallons of waste oil being generated by fast food restaurants, it only makes sense that we put this to good use. Rudolf Diesel was a true visionary. He stated, the use of oils for engine fuels may seem insignificant today, but such oils may become, in course of time, as important as petroleum. Pretty amazing words spoken almost a century ago.